Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Thursday means it's Fishbowl Thursday here at Instant Deck Deck Land, and we have a super unique, super spicy combo list to check out today. This is Hakan Storm, comes to us from Omega Destroyers, so thank you so much to Omega Destroyers for submitting a super spicy deck. If you want your own deck considered for a future edition of Fishbowl Thursday, make sure to leave a link in the comments, or you can always email me, saffronolive at mtggoldfish.com. Anyway, let's break down this crazy combo deck, Hakan Storm for Modern. So we start off with a card that's already pretty crazy on its own, Hakan Stromgold Scourge. This is one of the more unique cards that we've ever seen in Magic's history. So for three mana, you get a 3-3. Three, three. It's a legendary zombie knight. The problem with Hakan is you can't just cast it from your hand. The only way you can cast Hakan is if it's in your graveyard. However, once you get Hakan into play, you can play knight cards from your graveyard. When then whenever Hakan dies, you lose two life. A bit of a drawback, so you can't like loop it and go infinite with it. But still, the idea of this deck is to get Hakan in our graveyard, then get Hakan on the battlefield, and use the ability to cast knights from our graveyard to win the game. So how do you actually combo off with Hakan's Stromgold Scourge? Step one is Skeletal Changeling. So Skeletal Changeling, just a two mana one one, but technically since it's a shapeshifter, it is all creature types at all times, which means it is a knight. So if we have a Hakan out, we can cast Skeletal Changeling for two mana from our graveyard. So the last piece of the puzzle is Basil Sliver. So Basil Sliver is a sliver that gives all slivers the ability to sacrifice themselves to add two black mana. So you probably see where this is heading. Hakan lets us cast Skeletal Changeling from the graveyard. Basal Sliver gives us the ability to sacrifice the Skeletal Changeling to itself because it's a sliver, because it's a shapeshifter changeling to add two mana. And then we can use that two mana to cast it again from the graveyard, thanks to Hakan, because it's a knight. And then we can sack it again because it's a sliver, thanks to Basal Sliver. And we keep repeating this. This gives us the ability to basically generate infinite storm count, also get infinite enter the battlefield triggers, infinite leave the battlefield triggers. So this loop wins us the game. The way it wins us the game is in one of two ways. So we can either just grape shot our opponent. We cast this Skeletal Changeling, sack it, cast it like a million times. Grape shot X a million storm to kill our opponent that way. Or we just have an impact tremors on the battlefield. And every time the Changeling enters the battlefield from our graveyard, we ping our opponent for one. We sack it again. We ping our opponent for one. When it enters, we do it again. We ping our opponent for one when it enters the battlefield. So we win in one of those two ways with a con letting us cast the Skeletal Changeling an infinite number of times by sacking it to itself because it's actually a sliver thanks to Basil Sliver. Super crazy, super spicy. The rest of the deck is about getting our stuff in the graveyard. So we gotta get the con in the graveyard to really make it work. We'd like to get the Skeletal Changeling in the graveyard as well. So Sync Weed Imp, Golgari, Thug, Life from the Loam just give us ways to dredge cards into our graveyard. Every turn, dredge, dredge, dredge until eventually we have our pieces in the graveyard. We cast our Hakan from the graveyard. We cast our Skeletal Changeling from the graveyard. Hopefully have our Sliver go on to win the game that way. Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, and Tormenting Voice do two really important things. First off, they let us get started with the dredging plan. So this gives us a way to initially, on turn one with Faithless Looting, discard our dredgers to start dredging on turn two. After we have some dredgers in the graveyard, this gives us ways we can draw extra cards to dredge extra times in a turn. So we cast a Cathartic Reunion, we discard a couple dredge cards, we use the draw three ability. Instead of just drawing three cards, we dredge three times, which can be getting like 10, 15 cards in our graveyard, which means by turn three, we hopefully will have like 15, 20 cards in our graveyard, which hopefully also means we got a Hakan and can start comboing off and maybe winning the game by like turn four. So these cards just let us dredge multiple times, cycle through our deck, find our sliver, find our combo pieces to win the game. Nameless Inversion is the final bit of spice in the deck. It's our removal spell, not a great removal spell, but it works really well with Hakan because as a shape-shifting tribal instant, it's all creature types at all times, which means it's technically a nice Knight, which means we can keep casting it over and over again from our graveyard. So if our opponent plays something, we just nameless inversion it. If they play something in the next turn, as long as we have our Hakan out, we just nameless inversion it again until we win the game. Mana base, bunch of fetch lands, bunch of shock lands, Urborg to make everything swamp, some basic lands. In the sideboard, we have Burning Vengeance in Flame Jab, which gives us a spicy backup win condition. So if our opponent is going to have plans to deal with our Hakan combo, 
We can just bring in Burning Vengeance, play Burning Vengeance, dredge Flame Jab into the graveyard, along with our Life from the Loam to keep getting back lands, cast Flame Jab multiple times a turn, discarding lands, we loam back to our hand to Flame Jab. Every time we cast the Flame Jab with the Burning Vengeance out, we're getting three damage, so it's kind of like a lava spike. So if we can do that three times with Life from the Loam lands each turn, only going to take maybe two or three turns to close out the game with Flame Jab Burning Vengeance. Otherwise, a bunch of removal options. Terminate for creatures, Destructive Revelry for artifacts and enchantments, Ancient Grudge for artifacts, Good to be able to get rid of Graveyard Hate. Graveyard Hate, like Leyline of the Void, Rest in Peace, Relic of Progenitus, those cards really shut down our plan, so we gotta have answers for them. Nile Spellbomb for opposing graveyards, another Life from the Loam for when we wanna go on the combo with Burning Vengeance plan to win the game, and that's a con storm for modern. And that's what our instant deck deck for today. So again, thank you to Omega Destroyers for sending it in. Super spicy deck. And if you want your own deck considered for a future edition of Fishbowl Thursday, as I mentioned before, leave a link in the comments or send me an email. SaffronOlive at mtggoldfish.com. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.